Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Laolu, and welcome to the first episode of Laolu Food Review. I haven't actually decided on a name, but for now, we're calling it Laolu Food Review. Like and subscribe if you want to see more, and definitely leave me a comment if you have any feedback or if you'd like to see more. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't, yada, yada, yada. On this channel, I plan on reviewing supermarket meals, budget options for the modern individual. That's always on the go. I'll try and keep the prices down because I know how bad the economic climate is right now. But anyway, shall we begin? Probably seen from the thumbnail or the video title what I'll be reviewing, but just so you're aware, these things are called meaty puds and I got them from B&M Bargains, which is like one of my favorite places to go when I'm bored. As you all know, there's currently a pandemic and there's not much to do. So sometimes I just like walking into like B&M or the pound store and seeing all these weird and wonderful foods I can try. So I decided why not pick up a couple, record my reviews, just so if any of you guys are looking, pick up any of these budget options, you've got a little a taste of what it's what it tastes like right here. Cost about one pound each. The best before date is July 2022. So these will definitely keep a long while. And there are two varieties that I found. You've got the just steak over here, as well as a steak and kidney variety. Let's have a look at the steak anyway. The description, let's see. Beef in gravy with sweet pastry or suet pastry. So I actually Googled what suet pastry is and it looks to be pastry made with saturated fat, which doesn't sound pleasant, but yeah, I'm gonna take one for the team, guys. The ingredients look promising. There's 15% beef, which is more than I expected for the price. I mean, for a pound. There's also some beef fat and garlic that should add the taste hopefully. When it comes to nutritional information, it's got 209 calories per 100 grams. So for the whole thing, that's a whopping 836 calories. There are actually two servings per pudding, which I've just seen. Extra value for money. And it means that, you know, if you and the missus or the mister aren't feeling an expensive dinner, you can opt for one of these instead. Two servings for a pound, that's the cheapest date you'll ever, ever pay for. All right, so now we're gonna look at the steak and kidney one and more of the same. I'm not a fan of kidney. I don't even think I've had it, but like just the idea kind of freaks me out. To add to that, it's not even beef kidney, it's pork kidney. Again, I'll take one for the team, guys. Like this video to wish me luck. And I guess the uh, silver lining would be we're getting more meat here, as you can see. Rather than 15%, there's 19% of meat, 10% beef, 9% beef fat, and pork kidney. With the nutrition, you know, it's got a little more calories than the just steak variety. So it's got five more calories, which isn't much. So let's just say for the sake of simplicity that these have the same calories. This one has just got extra flavor with the extra kidney, which means more protein for all you bargain hunting bulkers. Well guys, I have to say these do not look nice. <laughs> they definitely smell a lot nicer than they look. You can tell there's a lot of grease in there that's kind of just like pulled around like the edge of the plate. In any case, I'm gonna start tasting. Just take one first. I ain't even like opened it yet. I'm just gonna, oh yeah, oh yeah. That is actually all right. It's not bad smelling. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, it smells like a steak bake, like the kind you get from uh, Greg's. They must all be using the same meat because I swear to God, it smells just like that. And it's kind of falling apart there. You can see that pastry looking real nice there. And what is that, a dumpling? Oh, I'm just gonna break this open here, see what we have. And you know what, yeah, this is actually, this is actually all right. This is not a bad plate. This is not a bad place. So you got a dumpling in there, it looks like. You know, a couple pieces of beef and a lot of sweet pastry. I can count the amount of beef in here. It's like less than 20 pieces and they're not that big either. They're kind of falling apart now. Literally can't even put it on my fork. So for you guys that like it really tender, this is definitely just up your alley. I'm actually going to try it now. So I guess first I'll try the pastry and I'll let you guys know what this tastes like. Mmm. Ah. Right. So, uh... <clears throat> It's actually quite bland, you know? As much sodium as there is already in this, they could have added like a couple more pinches of salt. In any case, it really doesn't taste like anything. Not good or bad. It just tastes like grease. Just kind of kind of disappointing. I'm going to try just the beef to see if that's got any more flavor. Okay, guys, wish me luck. I'm going to try a bit of beef now. And this is like, put a bunch on my fork. So hopefully it tastes nice. Bon appetit. Oh, oh God. That is not good. Yeah, that is not good. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I actually had high hopes for these guys. Being that, you know, this is a budget option, I would have thought that it would be packed with flavor, if nothing else, you know? However, this is just terrible. There's no flavor. It's very greasy. I don't know how two people would share this either. It's really not that big. Oh my God. I'm gonna try the pastry 
and the beef at the same time and then hopefully this will give me like a nice combination the two separately definitely not the one but yeah got a bit of pastry and a bit of beef there mm, okay so the pastry and the beef together isn't as bad as them separately however i still still wouldn't recommend this like no disrespect to frey benton's these guys you know it looks like they've been in business for quite a while since 1881 which is amazing you know they probably have some great products out there but just these two these meaty puds are definitely not it like you guys need to go back to the drawing board figure something out you know maybe add some some maggie seasoning or something literally just a pinch of something it's missing something right the textures are there Okay, the meat is tender. The the pastry is uh, it's all right, I suppose, for the price. However, the flavors are just ugh, pointing. Anyway, I'm just gonna swap these around. Now, because this has a bit more meat in it, I'm guessing it might have more flavor. Oh, that sucks. Oh my, okay, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh yeah, look at that. That does not look appetizing at all. But anyway. Let's hope the pork kidney adds a bit more flavor to this pud. Yeah, oh god. This meat looks like it's been partially digested. And again, this company, Frey Benton, since 1881, these guys have a range of products. This is just the first I picked up. So I could just be having a, you know, a bad experience with these particular ones. I'm pretty sure they do some excellent stuff. However, yeah, these puds are just not it, man. They just don't, yeah. Anyway, let's try some of this meat first. Or you know what, let me try the pastry first. Uh, and I'll try and get a bit that's not really been soaked in grease. Mm, you know, it's not as bad as a just steak flavor. However, there still isn't much going on in that, which is a shame because, uh, you know, for the price, it's got your calories in there, it's got your protein. One would expect this to at least taste all right. It's just, it just still doesn't taste like anything. It's a bit, bit nicer, but still not like anything. I'm gonna try it one more time. Nah, it's not it, guys. Okay, now we're going in for the beef and pork kidney. I have no idea which is which, so I'm gonna try and get a nice mix here. So, oh, what is that? What is that? Why does it look like there's a macaroni in here? <laughs> what is that? <sighs> I think I def got a bad batch. I def got a bad batch. But anyway, let's try this once more. There is the uh, beef and pork kidney. Bon appetit. Oh, no. Nah. Unfortunately, uh, 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 yeah, unfortunately, so with the beef and pork kidney, it's just not, nah, it's just not doing it. Unfortunately, it just tastes terrible. The texture definitely is just terrible. I, I could never imagine that both of these would turn out, you know, as bad as they did. However, I've at least saved you a couple of pounds time as well. Now you're not gonna ever, or hopefully not ever consider getting these. Again, the steak, this is just devoid of any flavor. It's also very greasy. Steak and kidneys are bit more flavorful but like again more of the same and the texture of that steak and kidney is just oh really just does not feel good when you're chewing it looks like there are some intestines involved in this as well you got these tubes of meat looking like you know only god knows what they used to transport when this animal was alive in any case I want no part of that. If we were going to score these, I'd give them a 2 out of 5. Purely because the pastry wasn't all bad. It didn't taste like anything, but it wasn't bad. The meat in both of these puds, terrible, right? But the pastry, definitely not bad. So, yeah. 2 out of 5. <laughs>